think that you can form a relationship with a dog based on the notion that you have to be the alpha and try to dominate him and make sure he shows submissive behaviors to you. So that's, that's a plausible thing to do. You will create a relationship where you have a fearful dog who will submit to you um, the way that anybody who has less power will be forced to submit to somebody with more power. But that's a power relationship and it's really going to circumscribe the kind of relationship you have with the dog. But in the animal world, things are cruel. And if you don't play the game, then you don't survive. And basically owning a dog is you're playing a game with the dog. That's how the dog's programmed. That's how they've been bred over centuries. And now it's, they're more pets and they're just family items. Um, so people run into problems treating dogs almost like people, where they're not able to, to lay the law down or, or reinforce the dog in, in a way that sometimes the dog truly needs. I don't have any children, and I don't make my dogs my children, but I'm just used to taking care of something. And, and dogs give back, they really do, especially retrievers that uh, will lay at your feet and be with you, and you know, they, they become more like friends, although I know I need to be the disciplinarian and I need to keep them on the straight and narrow. Everything is not a competition with dogs that are not behaving badly because they're always trying to gain higher rank. They are behaving badly because they've gotten rewarded for those behaviors and we need to focus on rewarding the correct behaviors. Animals learn based on operant conditioning or trial and error learning. That is, they perform behaviors because they work. If a behavior works and they get what they want, they're going to do that behavior again. If the behavior doesn't work, they don't get what they want, they're going to try something else. I think either from a person, an owner's aspect, needs to make sure that the dog understands that you are sort of the alpha dog. Otherwise, just like kids, you don't want your kids to be walking all over you when it's growing up. You need to exert some dominance and control over your children. You know, you need to do the same thing with the dog. And in that aspect, you know, there's some similarities between the two. As far as humans and dogs being alpha to one another, it's not a concept that makes a lot of sense to me. I'm not a dog. Why would I be the alpha dog? 